to take you on a journey on perception. In fact, something very simple captures this journey comes from a nursery rhyme you would all know. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is worth a dream. These four lines have a deeper meaning. It tells us how the life should be led. Since our childhood, we have been taught to live life like a dream. And I strongly believe that yes, it can be lived like that one. So you would all agree that when we go downstream, the life is simple. But when it is upstream, the life is a bit challenging. The merrily merrily component is missed in this life. Let me ask you one important question. What is most certain in this life? Uncertainty. It is everywhere. It is ubiquitous. Whether these are small issues or bigger issues, when they strike us, we are stressed, we are overwhelmed, we are anxious, we are hopeless. And we tend to see that my glass is half full. Well, today I am going to share my idea based on my personal and professional experience how to tackle with this uncertainty and embrace it. I remember my first encounter with uncertainty was at the time when I was in my school days. I was very much confused about, about my future. I was not sure what are my career paths. Lot of obstacles I was anticipating and the unfavorable outcomes which were making me fearful. There was fear of failure all the time. To, in order to overcome that fear of, fear of failure, I started preparing for both medical and engineering exams together, hoping that if I fail in one, I may succeed in the other. Well, it was a turning point in my life when I met my guru, my mentor, Mr. Sunil Goyal. He taught me that believe in yourself. Choose one path which is going to give you the utmost satisfaction if you succeed. Well, my perception changed on that day. My fear of failure changed into faith in success. Well, I followed his teaching. I believed in, believed in him and I wished to become a doctor. And here I am in front of you, a molecular oncologist who deals with the DNA of cancer to find the right treatment for the right patient at the right time. What I have learned over years that even this cancer, a deadly disease, follows certain rules. The culprit underlying the cancer is nothing but the DNA alterations, which themselves are random events and uncertain events. But they tend to follow a series of events in a sequence and that let the cancer cell live. The message here is, even if you encounter an uncertain event or randomness, if you are able to maintain a sequence thereafter, it may let you live. Well, now it was the time that I was in my medical school and it was the year 1995 when myself and my friend, a very dear friend of mine, Dr. SK, we used to go out at Dhaba to eat a meal actually. With the limited pocket money we had, we were able to order only one and share that dish. We did not have much of money actually. And my favorite dish at that time was Rajasthani Masala Gatte. You might have tasted it actually. Well, in the beginning, we thought it is too less for both of us. But after eating three chapatis each, with our stomach full, what we realized, that there is a small portion still left over. And it was a surprise to us. And it was a repeated phenomena we observed again and again. And it showed us, it reflected that our needs was minimum and we were satisfied in the minimum what we had. And the thing which was too less to begin with become too much for us, just changing the mindset. Well, quite a surprising story, an interesting story actually. But that was not the only thing challenge we had during the medical school, but the studies itself. The studies are considered to be one of the toughest courses. The MBBS are considered to be the toughest courses in the world because you have to consume lots and lots of information in a given stupidity time with lot of medical jargons. 
it seems to be impossible task, Herculean task. You cannot finish it. As a medical student, you have no other choice but to start. Well, we started and what we realized that we have not only completed the courses in time, but passed with flying clears. Our perception changed from impossible to impressively possible. Well, my dear friends, all these trivial examples, many of you may relate and many of you may not. But the fact of the matter is, whenever we are stricken by a big challenge, we think that our resources are limited. We are overwhelmed all the time. And it is a time that one should gather oneself up and start seeing forward. Start seeing one step at a time, not the entire staircase. One step at a time, not the entire staircase. And once you start moving forward, you will realize that you have come a long way up and the feeling which was overwhelming once has now reduced. And introspect in your own life, you will find various such moments every day. Well, interestingly, fast forward few years, when I completed my studies from the reputed institutes from India and abroad, there came a second turning point in my life when I was swamped with the misery, sorrow, and the death of my cancer patients. Statistics says that one in nine individuals will develop cancer in their lifetime. And who is the unlucky one is uncertain. Knowing this number makes me powerless and hopeless. But when I see my patients, I feel responsible for them. I want to work for them. I want to be with them while they're on the treatment journey. I try to gather myself up, regain my strength, and start giving my positivity back to my patients. Even in this journey where I have learned, I have also changed my own perception of seeing cancer. And here, I have rephrased the word cancer into see answer. Look for answers. So I don't give up on my patients at all. I always be there for them. During this process of giving my positivity to my patients, sometimes I get tired, burnt out. Well, again, my patients come for my rescue by showing their resilient, strong character. And that is where I have to be responsible for them once again, be with them. Today, I'm going to tell you a tale of a 35 year old female, a young talented woman actually, who met with this uncertainty of cancer diagnosis. Well, she came to me with a lump in the breast. I investigated her, which came out to be breast cancer. And one of the trickiest breast cancer what we know, called triple negative breast cancer. Fortunately, the breast cancer was limited to the breast and the armpits, did not spread to other parts of the body. Well, it was a lucky one that she is in the early stage of cancer. Well, the first diagnosis made the patient anxious and she started saying to me, hey, Dr. Verma, are you sure about this diagnosis? She was under denial. She was not accepting that she is suffering from cancer. With the objectivity in my hand, I started to convince her, yes, this is cancer what we are dealing with. After she accepted that, she asked me a question. Hey, Dr. Verma, why me? Hey, God, why me? A 35-year-old is justified to ask that question, actually. But I told her that I don't have answer to this tough question. I'm sorry about it. But I can tell you that stop saying why me and start saying try me. She understood the zeal behind the word try me and she accepted that and she fought. <laughs> now the journey started from the day one of chemotherapy till the end of the surgery. We were taking one step at a time and the biggest strength was coming from her family because this journey was not her alone. It was her family too and especially the five-year-old child. She was recovering from her painful realization of being a cancer patient. And she have accepted her new normal. Her new normal 
with hope, hope of life with rainbow colors. Herself being a protagonist of her, her story, well, she was accepting the past as a destiny call and the future as a conscious free will to be happy and contented whatever is left in her store. Well, I remember one discussion with her when we got the PET CD done on the follow-up and there was no disease. And she was so joyful. She said that she was looking forward to this day when there is no disease in my body. And that kept her going. This is a true example of change of perception from denial to acceptance. Yes, it is cancer, so what? That is a strong message, a strong character what she has shown us. She is a true example where she has portrayed that forget the taste of medicine, embrace the taste of life. And this is, the, this is going to make her queen actually. So, well, the life will never stop throwing challenges day on day out actually, whether these are work, family or illness for that matter. And there's going to be questions, why me, why me, why me? Well, all what we have to do is just change our mindset and start challenging your limits and it will surely limit your challenges. I repeat, challenging your limit will limit your challenges. This diagram can explain by itself, you push hard, that things will become round and smooth for you in, f in the future. Well, I can assure everyone listening today, that it is the way we see around, it is the way we look around. In the beginning, I said that whenever we are stricken by a big challenge, we tend to see that my glass is half full. But I would like to leave you all with my mantra to tackle this by believing and seeing that my glass is half yet full. Life will never stop throwing all these challenges. Well, as I said, we have to change, change our mindset. Life is uncertain. Life is full of unwanted scenarios. But in this uncertainty, life is definitely certain. So whenever you come across a challenge, say to yourself loud, try me, my glass is half yet full.